Hello and welcome to vlog number 92. This week I'm going to talk about infrared light therapy for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Somebody recently requested this but I couldn't locate the message or comment so if this was you, my apologies. If you leave me a message in the comments this week then I'll credit you in the video information. Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease are two of the most common neurodegenerative conditions. Although the pathology of the disorders is very different, they are both characterised by the progressive death of neurons in the brain. The cause or causes of these conditions is unclear and is the subject of much debate and research. Current therapies revolve around treating the symptoms but do nothing to slow or arrest the progression. Red to infrared light therapy, and in particular light in the near infrared range, is emerging as a neuroprotective or disease modifying treatment for Alzheimer's and PD patients. A number of studies of animal models of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's report that low level near infrared light therapy not only reduces behavioural symptoms associated with these conditions, but also has neuroprotective effects, slowing the death of the neurons that underlies them. In researching this subject, I came across the account of a retired politician in Australia, Max Burr, who had been diagnosed with PD. Faced with increasing amounts of medication to control his symptoms, he came across a research paper on the use of photobiomodulation on animal models of Parkinson's. The research showed that 670 nanometer red light was neuroprotective in an animal model of PD, although the author of the research paper, John Mitrofanis, Professor of Anatomy at the University of Sydney's School of Medical Sciences told Burr that he couldn't recommend it for human use just yet. Unable to wait for the outcome of clinical trials, Burr made his own device from a lampshade covered in aluminium foil and aligned with strips of LEDs that emitted red light at a wavelength of 670 nanometers. He used this device, resting it on his head, for 20 minutes twice daily and, over a period of some months, Reports that he recovered his sense of smell, noticed improvements in his handwriting, improvements in his gait, and was able to climb stairs again. Burr states that, week to week, it might only have been a subtle change, but the cumulative effect over the months has been quite significant. The results of a 2017 placebo-controlled clinical trial in dementia patients, testing memory and cognition, Berman, Halper and Nichols et al., were published in the Journal of Neurology and Neuroscience concluding that results suggested a trend of improvement in executive functioning, clock drawing, immediate recall, praxis memory, visual attention and task switching, as well as improved EEG amplitude and connectivity measures. I won't pretend that I know what all of that means, but I know enough to gather that the trial wasn't a complete failure. A larger placebo-controlled trial involving Alzheimer's and dementia patients is being carried out at the Scott and White Clinic in Texas and I look forward to seeing the results of that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.